guys, it's Austin here from Mutation Creation with another Saturday Snake School and in today's video we're going to step away from the snakes really and just show you how we spot clean here and kind of give you adjustable how we go through the cleaning every week here at Mutation Creation and kind of gives you an example of what you guys can do at home. Before we get into that, huge shout out to Kevin and Whitney from A Exotics. Go and check them out, half Canadian, half American, really cool logo. Go and check them out, great people. So to get into the cleaning, we have our cleaning table all set up here conveniently just for this video and what we do for spot cleaning is we go through it every single female once a week sometimes we have to do deep cleans but usually we just go and spot clean and I'm just going to give you an example of what a deep clean looks like so as you can see this girl she didn't go to the washroom but she did have a lot of shed and she does have some stuck shed it's the winter here the conditions are very dry we try to raise the humidity as much as we can most of our snakes have full sheds, but this one didn't, so we're going to have to take her out, give her a soak, get all that stuck shed off her, go through the bin, and take out all the pieces of shed. We're not going to do that right now. And while we do that too, we can go and clean the sides and stuff, and just make sure everything's disinfected, make sure there's no poop on the sides, or nothing else from the rats that we feed as well. But now we're going to get into the spot cleaning, and we just picked this row over here because it's a pretty good example of a spot cleaning row. And first off... We have this pied over here and generally what I like to do is pick up the snake, move him to the other side, go and move everything around. See this came from the Coco, it's a little bit of the Gopher Coco loco. Go and check out Gopher Coco if you haven't already. So we got the urate, we take that out, we go and check around. Looks like that urate might have been stuck to the wall before so we will get chlorohexidine. This is what we use as a disinfectant, you can use F10. People even use vinegar, soap and water. This is just the easiest for us. It, really good disinfectant, kills all the germs and bacteria. And what we do is we just wipe it over here. And you can see those ones are kind of stuck, so we use spoons just to go and get to the corners. It's good inside of the corners, as you can see, it works really well. And the point works really good at taking the urates off the wall. So you can see there, that's all clean now. And what we like to do is pop that off with some fresh cocoa just in the area where the urate was. As you guys saw a little earlier, the urate wasn't that big, but I took a big portion of cocoa around it. We just want to take anything that might have any urate or any pee on it. And we put the snake back. And like I said, we like to raise the humidity. So we take the water, we dump it inside of the back so we can get some fresh new water. Fill that up. And we just use cold water. And then to help the humidity, we use one of these garden sprayers. And we just get some warm water and do a light mist. Freaks out the snake sometimes. You want to move the snake too, just to ensure you get that whole hot side. And it just helps the humidity to ensure that the snake has a really good next shed. Here we have a really big double head enhancer pie grill. She almost looks like a VPI exanthic. But nope, she's just a double het enhancer pied. And you can see those het pied markers. We are going to do a het pied marker video. So for all you guys who've been asking, and we might even do another video on a lot of other heads that we have, or het markers that we noticed. But as you can see here, this bin is pretty much clean. It looks like it needs a little bit of top off with the cocoa. So I'm going to get a handful in there. Make sure the sides are mostly clean. Just going to give them a quick wipe. We got rats. Rats like to go and go to the sides around the water bowl as well. That's where the snake's always wiping his mouth. The rats like to go there too to get their own water if the snake doesn't eat right away. And once again, just mist it up. Make sure everything gets wet. And we're on to the next one. So right here looks like we have some urate taking a big portion around where the urate was. Looks like there's some poo there too. And here's another urate section over here. I'm just gonna grab most of it around it. Even some on the wall. Get our chlorohexidine going again. Make sure I get everywhere around where the urate was and where the urate was on the wall. We're gonna dump her water. 
It does look like we need to add a little bit more cocoa. And this is pretty much how we spot clean here. If you guys do anything differently with your cleaning that you think we should do, or if there's anything that you like in the way that we clean that you want to incorporate inside of your cleaning regimen, go and comment down below. I'd love to hear any recommendations or what you liked from this video. And just try to get the cocoa out of the water. This is a little bit of a tip. A lot of times the water will get stained orange or red from the cocoa especially depending what cocoa block you're using. So here we have a male that was paired and what I notice every time I pull a male out they like to go around either the male or the female and they just scent the place with a bunch of urates. Looks like this corner has some and the wall so this one's going to be a bit of a deep clean but pretty much going to be doing the exact same thing so I'm going to put this freeway hypo back on with this so same principle applies. I'm just going to grab a large portion of the area the rates are. As you can see, some of them even went down to the floor. Going back to the spoon in the corner. So this is a good tool that we use while we're cleaning our snakes. They use these to wrap cars or vinyl wrap. You can buy these on Amazon or at Uline. They're really good and convenient, especially when you're like trying to get out dust or urates that are broken up into small pieces. Just go and scoop it straight into the garbage. Pull the spoon out, get those last little pieces I missed before. It's looking a lot better. And then dump the water of course. Lastly, we're going to spray her one last time. But this is the same way we clean our hatchlings, minus the spraying. We don't spray for the hatchlings. The ARS Mini 130 tubs, they hold humidity very well. These guys, they just need a little bit more humidity. They're bigger snakes. So that's pretty much how we spot clean here at Mutation Creation. You guys seen that last bin I did was kind of a deep clean, but I wanted to give you a good example of some spot cleaning. Spot cleaning is really good to keep your collection really nice and clean, but deep cleans are necessary once every couple weeks. You want to make sure that all your snakes are in good, healthy condition so that they can thrive and breed for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go and check out A Exotics once again. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.